Hello and welcome to today's live demo. Today we're talking and showing you how you can run a VoIP test in NetBees. Before doing so, uh, let me give you some background about uh, VoIP, also called Voice over IP. And a Voice over, over IP is a way to deliver a voice communication over an IP network. For this reason, as uh, most of real-time connection, we use the UDP protocol, which is connectionless, um, differently from TCP. And uh, inside uh, the UDP packets, uh, you have um, voice uh, communication encoded uh, with different codecs. In this page, you can see that there are different uh, codec names that have different uh, characteristics and uh, quality. As a result, uh, you can see that the two most popular are G711 and G729. And what you should look uh, in this table, most importantly, is the, the codec bit rate, uh, which is a 64 kilobit per second with the G711 and 8 kilobit per second on the G729. Um, of course, there are many more codecs for VoIP used uh, in production networks today. And uh, uh, you can see and search more around uh, in the internet. So VoIP being uh, UDP and being delivered on a uh, IP network is a really, um, its performance is really dependent on three major things. Uh, packet loss, latency, and jitter. Packet loss is the percentage of uh, packets that can reach the destination. Latency is the um, uh, the time it takes for a packet to go from source to destination. And uh, jitter is the variation in latency. So how much that latency changes uh, in, uh, in a specific time period. So of course, the higher packet loss, latency or jitter, and uh, uh, the lower the call quality that you will be experiencing. Um, for this reason, um, there is a key performance indicator of VoIP quality called MOS, which stands for mean opinion score. Uh, MOS is a value that can go from one to five, where one is the worst or bad, and five is the best voice quality that you can get out of your call. Um, in general, 4.3 is a very good value for uh, a VoIP on, uh, on a IP network. All right, so uh, let's see how you can uh, do uh, monitor VoIP by simulating VoIP calls uh, in NetBees. I'm going to the NetBees dashboard. As you can see, um, we can run VoIP tests between any two agents that are managed by NetBees. And we have two type, two ways to run a VoIP test. Could be ad hoc, so in real time between any two agents. For example, uh, let me take the Pittsburgh 1 and Pittsburgh 2 agent, and uh, I can then select the type of codec that I want to use for my VoIP test, and then I click Run. And uh, with, uh, with the ad hoc, what you see is like uh, run in real time, you run a connection, a VoIP connection for 30 seconds, in this case, from uh, Pittsburgh 1 to Pittsburgh 2, simulating uh, the G711 codec, which is mostly simulated at the transport la layer. That is, uh, we are not actually placing a call be between the two agents, but we're transferring packets from the source to the destination with the same uh, kind of characteristic of an actual G711 call. So from a network perspective, that is good to validate uh, the to validate that the overall network can or not sustain uh, uh, good or bad uh, VoIP calls. Um, as you see now, the, the test is running for 30 seconds. At the end, uh, it will produce uh, the mean opinion score and as well as provide other uh, averages such as cheater latency and packet loss. Um, in this case, you can see we have a 4.4 MOS, which is really good. Uh, we have a good sustained kilobit per second, a low jitter, and same for latency and packet loss. If you want to run a uh, schedule, a VoIP test uh, to be run in background at a specific time uh, in your network, uh, you go under the test tab and the VoIP. You create a new VoIP schedule test. 
then you assign the source and the destination address like I did before let's say from Pittsburgh 1 destination Pittsburgh 2 and then I select the codec uh, type um, you select the test duration for each test and the port for the destination and then you can pick how often you want to run this VoIP test could be um, twice an hour four times an hour and so on or it could be once a day or once a week based on your preferred schedule once you do that you click save and the uh, test schedule in your uh, dashboard and uh, and then you start seeing data as test results uh, are sent from the agents to the server just to show you an existing pre-configured test you can see here already with this we have this VoIP test that was previously configured from uh, uh, Pittsburgh 1 to Pittsburgh 2 and you can see that overall uh, MOS has been pretty good with exception of this test where uh, for some network reason wasn't able to run uh, but overall we have a good average of 4.40 with this I wanted to conclude today's live demo on how to uh, create and run and VoIP test I hope this was beneficial uh, if you go on actually on our main website uh, we have also have an entire webinar about monitoring voice over IP with NetBiz so just go to netbiz.net and you can find under the resources section uh, the recording for our VoIP webinar.